Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time, although a little late, whoa, a lot late. Anyway, we are grabbing everything we can in Donut County. This is a great fun puzzle game developed by Ben Esposito, published by Annapurna Interactive, and would usually cost you £10.74, but it is right now on Game Pass, so get it while it's getting good. And what we're actually going to do is... Uh, start the game straight away because the first missable achievement we can get starts at the very beginning So press A to interact and just smash through this first bit and we come to a part where we are texting a talking raccoon, right? <laughs> That's pretty solid, right? But instead of pressing reply again as you can see here make sure to keep hitting the duck button next to it So keep hitting the A button on that duck symbol and you've got to do this a hundred times for the achievement You can't just keep spamming through it. You've got to wait for rocket raccoon here to reply but just keep, you know, mashing the A button on the duck button at least until the achievement pops. So there are other, there are other parts we can get this, but, you know, best to get it out of the way. So, this should only take a few minutes, so I'll just crack on with the intro real quick. So as I was saying before I rudely interrupted myself, this is a different yet fun puzzle game where we effectively play a hole in the ground which we need to swallow items to get bigger to finish the level. It's fun, it's easy, but there are different mechanics through the game that we need to get used to. But achievement wise it's all fairly easy, again you've got your story related ones, few miscellaneous ones and ones for killing the end boss and without being hit by said end boss, but again it is all easy enough. So overall this game should only take you around an hour and a half or so, and how far are we now? Okay, okay, not bad, not bad, we've got about a minute of this left. <laughs> but just a quick warning though, because we play as a big hole in the ground, there are going to be puns, jokes and potential innuendos in this video. So I'll try to keep it at not so many, but just letting you know that in case you're not into <laughs> all of those jokes, etc. So, now we can finally begin the game tidy. So, like I said, as for now, keep smashing the A button until the achievement unlocks. That's pretty self-explanatory. So once the achievement unlocks then just keep hitting the A button now on the reply button. So just smash this out until Rocket Raccoon decides to shut his trap and uh, when we say bye there'll be a little X in the top right hand corner. I'll revenge you. Yes, please do. So when we're done with that, open up the blinds by dragging the donut to the right hand side and then press the A button to interact with the window and now the game finally properly begins. So, as you can see, we're this tiny little hole and our objective is to, to suck in all of the smaller items, making the hole bigger, therefore being able to get the bigger items. Now in every level, what we're going to do is basically there's an achievement that we need to get for sucking up every item in the game. So that'll be tennis ball, picket fences, um, all types of small stuff. So before you actually hit the main thing that we need to do, like here, we need to suck up, suck off the little chicken boy. Um, obviously, we'll grab a few tennis balls, picket fences, etc. Um, just to add to the, what's called, the Trashopedia. But it's basically where all the items um, go. So obviously, just make sure to suck up all the little things, most of the things that you can in an area before we leave. Ah, so, now we're playing as Rocket Raccoon, and man, that does look quite chill. But again, smash through the replies, smash through the messagings at the moment, and you can deliver me a donut if you want. I'm a, I'm a hungry old fat man. So 
So then, after every level, what we're going to do is basically come to like this underground scene. A lot of stuff's go. Uh, a lot of talking's going to happen, but we can just smash through it all once again uh, using the A button. So unless you're really interested and invested in the story, um, I just smash through the dialogue. But again, completely up to you. So here we are then at Potter's Rock. This is the first level. We need to press the A button to deploy your hole. Oof. And what we need to do then is obviously make our hole bigger by getting it nice and moist and sticking a load of things inside it. Definitely sounds like a Saturday night around my hometown. Anyway, so obviously we're just going to be sucking up all the small things that we can. I mean, you know, every level is fairly obvious. Just a few mechanics and things, like I said, with that we need to get used to earlier. But you need to collect everything that you possibly can in one area before we move on to the next one. So as you can see now, after we collect everything there, we need now, now, need, ugh, now need to collect everything in this little bit. So collect all the pots, the um, things by the side of the house, like, are they giant strawberries or something? <laughs> and also, as you can see, that's what you can do with the physics as well. So you can actually sort of fling it about. You don't press the A button or anything. You just, if you go past past an item real quick, then you can sort of fling it about. So head through the gate, and again, what we'll be doing is obviously just collecting everything. So collect all the paint cans. Um, we're going to be this old guy is going to get inside our hole now as well, which not really keen on old guys getting inside there. But hey, what we have to do for some money sometimes, huh? <laughs> so just grab everything that you possibly can in this area. Like I said, I. I won't be talking through absolutely every single level, but this is just a sort of beginner, a little bit of a taster. So it's, it's more of a case of you can't really miss anything. So just grab, literally, like I said, just grab absolutely everything that you can. If your hole's big enough, well, boy, by God, you know we're going to be sticking everything in it. Oof, it's going to be <laughs> going to be a lot of hard work, and we're going to have to probably get ourselves. We'll have to get a hole checked, I think, at the end of this as well. So, but once you grab everything that you can in this area, now this is an achievement coming up. So grab the motorbike and the sort of sign at the back, swallow up this fireplace, and then put it underneath the hot air balloon. Now wait for a couple of seconds, and this is going to get us achievement number two out of the game for basically res rescuing this dude. And there it is. So now you should have got the Pups Odyssey achievement. And just to finish off the level, literally suck up all of the big things, make your hole nice and big so that everyone, and take a picture if you want, put it on OnlyFans, and then we can finish the level. <laughs> So, job done, baby. That's pretty much what it's going to be like through the whole game, bar a couple of things again, of course. Now, you're going to see a Trashopedia there in the middle of the screen, but we're going to ignore that for now. So, just click the Done button. This will go to a cutscene. So, again, we're just going to smash through the dialogue with the A button just to get through to the next level very quickly. The Trashopedia is basically all of the items that we're going to be picking up throughout the entire game. So, remember, before you actually finish the main point of the level, just make sure to just grab absolutely every single thing you can before we move on, and we'll do the Trashopedia at the end of the game. But now we're on to level 2 anyhow. And it's just the same thing as last time then, so we're just going to be grabbing all the bits of grass, all these snakes as well. So the snakes can potentially be a little bit tricky to get in, but obviously the, you collect all the grass and rocks first, first, and then of course it'll be a bit easier to get the slippery snake inside your hole. Again, we're going in dry, but that one is fine. They should bump in eventually. So, when we've collected everything in this area, obviously not 
Don't worry about the spotlight, can't grab that yet. Now what we need to get is the sort of snake tentacle looking thing in the middle, in the locked cage there. So, um, again, get your, gash, your hole a little bit bigger with rocks and grass and things like that. And then as soon as we can eat this snake, it's going to sort of pop out. Now what we need to do is actually get those chickens off where it basically, a bit of snake danger, we need to get the chickens off. So the first things first, just run straight into the chicken. As long as it goes to do a loop-de-loop -loop over, that chicken will go off. So if it doesn't happen the first time, just keep swinging them around. Um, swing this sign round and round and round. And the chicken's going to fly off again. And then the guy's going to be like, oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I'm going to crap my pants. And then just hit the button on the le oh, left-hand side. <laughs> Eventually, there it was. It can be uh, slightly a bit tricky, but with all three chickens off, Snake Danger sign is going to go into Berserk mode. And we're going to have a whole bunch of crap to eat. So, chicken and snake. That kind of sounds like a hell of a big, nice big protein meal for us. But this is all we need to do now. So, just eat, again, all the small things, all of the signs, the snakes, all of the chickens. Hole gets bigger. Eat all the rocks. Eat absolutely everything that you can see. And this level's done. <laughs> By the way, is it weird that every time I see the name BK, it reminds me of BTK, the uh, serial killer? My true crime obsession coming out there. Just, it, we'll move on anyway. So, <laughs> welcome to level 3. Again, our hole is nice and tiny, so we need to get some uh, slippery old grass, rocks, and some slippery old fish inside of our hole. Again, we'll be eating the dog as well, so don't you worry about that for another big high-protein meal. <laughs> Well, not that the UK does it anyway, but I've heard of other countries doing it, but I'm not going to name them. Mmm, delicious. So once you've chowed down on dog then, this is a new mechanic that we're faced with. So we're just going to grab everything we can on this left hand side first. There's a couple of things behind the trailer. And if you go into the water, uh, grab all the grass, everything that you can. And basically, when we fill our hole with water, we can't actually um, get anything down us. So as you can see, it just floats on the water. So to get rid of said water, we need to use this bird on the right, and that will get rid of the water. So it's, you know, it's, it's an easy enough mechanic to get through anyway. It's nothing too difficult or complicated about that. So again, just grab everything that you can on dry land. If you do end up getting the water in it, um, obviously just go to the bird. We need to get rid of the water anyway to finish the level, so do not worry about that. So it's easy just, instead of trying to be careful with it, it's probably better just to get all the water, get it done, get it sucked up, and our nice, wet, moist hole can be dry once again. Yeah, my coffee. But again, it's easy enough. It's now just... Um, Grabbing absolutely everything you can from this area, and then we am done. Thank <laughs> you. 
So here we are then at the campground, the shortest level so far at the minute. Uh, so again, small hole, stick items inside of us, make us bigger. Fairly obvious with this bit, but what we need to do for this bit is you need to see the corn where it says corn and it's on a stand on the right side. You can probably see it without me explaining it, but we actually need to swallow up that corn first. And there is a reason for that, so grab all the corn that you can first. And now we're going to go to the campfire. So there's nothing up there now, so just um, go ahead, swallow the fire. Uh, use the physics a little bit if you have to. What that'll do is now cook said corn. That's going to pop popcorn out, and then some birds are going to go down so we can swallow them as well. Man, this tight hole just knows no bounds, does it? Oh my god, it's got a hold of me. Oh, it's got a hold. So, that basically means that we can get everything bigger, we can add another item to our Trashopedia, and then we can swallow everything up and complete the level. So when we go over to the left hand side now, just swallow everything up to end it. So, welcome to Hopper Springs. Now we have to deal with rabbits. And our job? We need to get the rabbits inside our hole to make them mate. So it's kind of like a sexception thing going on here. Um, <laughs> weirdly. So just grab again all the little things uh, that you can. I mean, it's again, it's they're always fairly obvious what you need to collect. The grass, uh, little bits of pallets or woods and bits of rock, etc. But what we need to do is actually... When we have our big enough hole, we can grab this carrot and we need to get this rabbit. You see him just on the right hand side on the top? Just put the carrot down there. He is going to take a nice chunk out of us. Ouch. And then we're going to go counterclockwise to get this rabbit out of the gates right here. So make sure that he's following you. Don't go off too quickly because he'll lose interest. So go nice and slow around counterclockwise around the fence. Wait until he gets through the gap and then he can come out and jump over this mud at right here and then he's gonna take a nice chunk out of our butt ouch and then we can swallow him make sure to swallow the other rabbit they are going to hump like bunnies that's where the expression comes from I don't I'm too fat and slow for that uh, personally but now that makes the hole bigger and our, ho our hole's probably pregnant as well now with bunnies and stuff but <laughs> what we can actually do I told you there's gonna be a whole bunch of puns and stuff in here but obviously, bigger hole, now we can swallow uh, everything, so that's all the fences, that's the sort of bit of mud, a little bit of rock, and now we can actually get the rest of these bunnies off as well. So slowly, get them down, get the bunnies, they're going to consummate their marriage like bunnies as well. Humpity hump hump. Oh my god, what the hell's going on? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and we're going to do the same with the other side now. So, as soon as they hump like bunnies, when we get the two of them in, obviously it doesn't work with one. I don't think rabbits can uh, self-love, personally. Pretty sure they can't, but, you know, I've seen weirder things on Tinternet. Now it's going to make the hole even bigger. Ah, oh my God, we were pregnant. Look at all the goddamn bunnies. Jesus Christ. Wow. Well, I don't need to say anything else here. You, um... Go ahead, just collect everything in the level. <laughs> hmm.
now we're up to Joshua Tree. So there is a missable achievement here, and what we can do, um, basically we'll be setting fire to a lot of things. So again, as we've been doing throughout the whole thing, just um, grab all the small items you can, just these little rocks here, and every time you go close to this bird, he will give you like a piece of coal. And what we can do with that coal, when we get our hole a little bigger, we need to swallow this campfire and then set fire to the trailer. So it is easy enough. Um, so the coal should still be there. Uh, get another piece of coal when the campfire's in. Bam, now we're on fire. So head straight towards the trailer and then just stay under it for a couple of seconds for it to actually catch fire. Um, you might have to do it a couple of times because of the physics and the sort of weird angle on the camera You might set fire to everything else except the trailer So just keep going up to the trailer make sure to burn it until you get the pyro achievement um, Otherwise there is nothing else that really needs to be said as soon as you set fire to the trees these little um, Bits of acorns or plants or whatever are gonna fall off So it's literally a case of get a new piece of coal set everything on fire collect it end the level Simple pimple, baby. So we're now at the beach, which is nice. Can holes get a tan? I suppose the only holes big enough. So again, obviously collect all the small things first. The little bits of water don't matter. You can suck them dry as well. But what we need to do is basically use that firework to get the seagulls off of the wire. So again, just um, suck up all the tiny little things that you can. Don't worry about it for now if you can't. Sadly, our hole doesn't get uh, moist with water anymore. Well, I think we need to go to the doctor to sort that out. But as you can see, we're going to go underneath the guy with the stall. And then when it's on fire, we need to swallow it and then go to the birds and then just um, just wait until it destroys them. So light up the firework, suck the firework in and then go underneath the seagulls right there. And that should get them down. That means we can now swallow them. And then what we also need to do to finish the level, do the same thing. So go underneath the stall until the firework is lit like so and then have a look have a look at the sort of darker shadow on the ground because as you can see it probably it looks obvious that you have to go sort of towards the right hand side but it's not that at all you can just see the shadow of this cliff right here so go right underneath that and um, we're going to need to do that i think two or three times i reckon it's about three times but that is where we need to go and then everything's basically when everything's down we then need to just uh, collect everything as we've been doing to end the level 
See, they're not too bad. These different mechanics and puzzles and things, they're not too bad. I hope. I hope I've explained it well. Otherwise, man, I suck. Bows. So here we are then at Gecko Park. Now there is a miserable achievement in this and that's for basically not swallowing the radio. But we're going to be completing the whole game first and then coming back to this one later on. Because of course we want to grab every item in the game that we possibly can for our Trashopedia to get that achievement. So that's what we're going to be doing first. Uh, just thought I'd let you know that's all. So we'll be coming back to this level at the end of the game. Um, so as you can see, probably on the bottom left hand corner, you can probably just see like an eyeball and the outline of an invisible, well, gecko. And that is what we need to collect in this first area. So they are pretty easy enough. Man, what is it with these people and donuts? Why not a Chinese or an Indian or a McDonald's or a KFC? Well, there's probably nothing like that in this game since it is called Donut County after all. Not KFC County. So... In the first area, there are small, medium, and large geckos to collect. You can you can obviously see them with the eyeballs and, like I said, the outline shape. Um, so they are a bit they are a bunch of slippery little douchebags. So obviously, what you need to do is collect these small ones where you can first. Collect the bits of grass, collect the medium, and then the large one, and then we can move on. <laughs> wet hole versus wet gecko. Who comes out on top? And there's nothing too special about this area. Again, it's just collecting all the little things, all the geckos, and basically collecting everything that we can in the yard before we go on. And we're about to get a crocodile inside ourselves now as well. So, well, it was a tight fit, but we <laughs> we made it. And I wonder if he's been checked out for croc herpes. Chicken barn, y'all. We have got a lot to do. No, I can't keep talking of that. No, no, it's not going to happen. So, <laughs> so we'll be getting a missable achievement. Um, but for now, we're just going to collect once again all the little things until we can swallow that chicken for a nice big high protein meal. Again, if you want to get the bricks and anything on top, it's best to sort of use the physics. Um, just sort of hover underneath something, and then should be able to get out. I uh, should be able to get whatever it is on top down. So now what we can do, uh, we actually need to swallow up this 
raccoon, rocket raccoon. And then the next area will be available for us. So get the grass out. There's going to be this little cutscene. And we're actually, this is another missable achievement. So as you keep pressing the reply button, basically what we're going to be doing is buying two things. This is literally the only point in the entire game that we go into the store. But it's what we do and it's what we need to do. So we need, he wants to save up for a quadcopter, but biatch, we need some tings. So the first thing that we need is the catapult on the left hand side, the sort of fourth thing that'll buy us the catapult and then to get the gamer achievement we need to buy the energy drinks for eight um coins or whatever bitcoin or dog coin or whatever but that is what we need to buy so make sure to buy the catapult and the energy drinks and that gets us the first missable achievement out of this game so how we use this if we've got something we can actually press a to use the catapult a and that we can obviously use it to break things, etc. etc. So swallow up chicken head right here, press A to use the catapult, and then move the hole out of the way. And that's gonna break a whole heap of crap. That means we can actually now use that chicken to our advantage. And how we're gonna do that, uh, swallow up everything in this little area here. And then again the camera, once you've done that, this is automatic, the camera will pan around. So this is time, so what we need to do is go to the barn door, press the A button to catapult the chicken in the air, and then immediately go to the right and then go to the switch. That should... Now what, what should normally happen is the chicken actually slides in, but it didn't work for us that time. It can be slightly finicky, so just do it again, catapult him in the air, go to the uh, switch. Obviously it's going to happen automatically, and then the switch going into the hole and then the chicken should slide in job done now this is where the next missable achievement is what we actually need to do then is just collect an egg one egg because as you can see on the switch it's only going to be shooting one egg at the minute it's an infinite amount of eggs but we need to break a lot more so collect one flick it up at the switch and then it's just going to de <laughs> it, again it's basically an infinite amount Basically, to end the level, what we need to do is collect a certain amount of eggs, but we want to break more eggs before we collect. So, just keep waiting then until the achievement unlocks, and then you got to collect the eggs. I was waiting for a pun there. you got to break eggs to make an omelette, but it really doesn't make sense. Whoa, that hole's getting bigger. I've seen that before. Where have I seen that? Many porn videos, I expect, as my friend once told me. Not me, I'm not like that. But once we get the hole big enough, that means we can now swallow absolutely everything up and end the level again. So there's nothing else now apart from swallowing it all up. Job's done. Big hole. Welcome to Honey Nut <laughs> National Forest. So, obviously, as we've been doing then, you, we need to collect rocks, grass, all the small things first. But basically, the main thing that we need to get in this area is this frog, which is just on the right-hand side log there. So, uh, get all the honey, sticky, sticky honey inside your hole. Make it nice and sticky right there. Um, also, there's going to be a honeycomb that we need to grab. This one is important. We are, we'll obviously grab it anyway, but make sure to grab that, which was by the beehives. Uh, because what we can do is actually catapult that honeycomb up, and the frog will try to eat it, and that's how we get him down. So just grab everything that we can first, then the bits of honey, sticky, sticky honey inside of us. And when we're done with that, now we can go over to the frog. Press A, of course, to use the catapult. Frog 
tries to eat it, now he is inside of us. So we're going to use that to our advantage to rip down these honey combs, or these honey, uh, you know, the thing where the bees live and they make honey and stuff. I'm really sorry, I completely forgot for some reason. Um, so we can actually get these beehives down in us, um, but obviously if it is taking a bit too long, don't worry about it. Just use the uh, frog to get rid of these um, bee houses. I'll just call them bee houses for now. And again, to suck up the bee, that will make the hole bigger, which will enable us to get the beehives down. So just do it for all three. Um, if you're sort of struggling where to go, just have a look where the light's pointing. So it should be fairly obvious, but just in case, just sort of go with the bee. As you can see, it obviously wasn't <laughs> obvious enough for me. Um, but go to where the light's pointing then. That is where the frog now will collect everything. Now our hole should be just big enough to collect the beehives and the log. And then there we go, we can now move on. Um, so we need to be saving this guy slash swallowing him, so I don't know if it's actually saving him, but again we'll just grab all the little things first. All the little things and then what we're going to do is just the bee, we're going to eat all the bees from left to right. Sort of from the bottom to the top. So obviously just go next to the tree. And obviously if the frog doesn't eat it, you obviously need to be a little bit closer, a little bit further away. But again, it's, it is fairly obvious. So what we need to do that. I'm sure the frog's got bigger as well, the fat yet. So there you go. He should come down the first time. If he doesn't, just keep mashing the A button until he pops down. There we go. Now the hole's big enough. Swallow the barn. End the level. So once again then, this first bit is pretty self-explanatory, we're just going to grab all the small items and then all of the bigger items. And then what we need to do is a missable achievement actually inside the kitchen or the restaurant. So again for now just grab all of the grass and then grab all of the bricks, you know, just grab everything that you possibly can on screen and it'll automatically then go inside the kitchen. So now we come up to the missable achievement. So first thing we need to do is collect the three sort of tins or cans in the middle of the room. And that's going to open up and then use the uh, switch that will open up the curtain and then get the soup on the left hand side. Now, what we have to do, this is very important, we need to use the salt and pepper but we need two salt and three pepper. So that's very important. So two salt and three pepper. and. So obviously what we need to do is, when salt comes around, we'll tip it in. Now, how many times do you know that you've done something? Well, once you've done something once, a cockroach will appear. So obviously we'll just be avoiding that, avoiding that as best we can, until the salt and pepper come back around again. So you can use the pepper even if it works just a little bit. So that obviously means now we've done salt and pepper once. So obviously just keep avoiding it and try not to go too close to the bird on the right hand side either because it'll drink it and you won't get the achievement and you'll just have to restart the level is all. So very important. So just sort of keep it to the left hand side and remember it's two salt and three pepper. Do not go near the bird and sort of just go in a circle motion so the cockroaches can't get you. But again, you know, I had to restart this. Only once I had to restart it because I accidentally went too close to the bird. He drank it and... I obviously missed the achievement, so just remember, two salt, three pepper, when it turns red or orange, then go next to the bird. This cutscene should happen where, my god, my god, that is so freaking delicious. I mean, I've never tasted anything that's that good. <laughs> Ish. Well, we don't know. Well, <laughs> I will, but I'm not going to tell you what it was. <laughs> 
Anyway, that is the missable achievement. And now we go outside, collect absolutely everything from small to large, and then level ends again. <laughs> So then BK has finally got his quadcopter, even though I thought we bought energy drinks so we can't afford it. Still, there we go. So he's got his quadcopter. So this is a very short level. Uh, nothing of interest is happening. All we're doing again, swallowing all the big items, uh, which includes the trees. You can actually swallow the trees there. Uh, so again, small items to big items. And then the last one should be the donut coffee shop, which will unlock us an achievement. But that one is story related. Pretty sure you cannot miss that as you need it to end the level. Oh my god, Rocket Raccoon! So, welcome to the abandoned house. Now, this could be a potential tricky pain in the butthole. Um, really, just because it's one of the dark levels, there's nothing really scary that jumps out, nothing really happens. Um, but obviously, because it's dark, it can be quite tricky to see where to go. So, pick up the three candles. First of all, that's going to open up this fridge. And now we need to pick up the torch in order to see where we're going, which is next to the fridge. So, when we do that, sort of just skulk around have a look um basically there's a cat with a mask that can basically scare you that will turn the torch off and then you'll just have to get the next torch which comes out of the fridge anyway so uh, nothing that you know nothing too difficult but can just be a little bit there it is so the cat with the mask scares me we just need to get a new battery sorry from the fridge and then we can just go back to collecting things. So again, it's not like too difficult or anything, but it can be a bit of a minor inconvenience when the pussy and the hole meet. <laughs> so again, um, obviously just sort of skulk around, keep collecting everything until the hole gets bigger, as we've been doing throughout the entire game so far.
Now we then are at Raccoon Lagoon. This one was a pain in the ass for me, which it really shouldn't have been, to be honest. Um, <laughs> for some reason, there were just things that I just didn't know what I was doing. But obviously, that's not going to happen to you because I'm going to tell you what to do. So first things first, obviously, collect the small things again. The bricks, the coffee cups, all of that stuff. And so as you can see, we're just about to collect a stool and a balloon with a fish inside it. Now what we need to do is actually burst that balloon, so slap him up with a catapult and then move out of the way. Um, and that'll obviously burst the balloon, then we can collect the water, because what we need to do is basically turn this little spinning wheel with a raccoon on it, uh, we need to turn that into a water ride, uh, so we need to get him up. So obviously just let it go, there it is, collect the water and then slice the water up into the wheel and then we can obviously go ahead and collect these small other little small things there first and then just do the same thing get out the other balloons obviously if you do need more balloons of course then use the big balloon with the machines the machine with the balloons even <laughs> So, when we finally get him up to the top then, we need a little bit more water. You can probably see the broken half pipe right there. Uh, he's going to come down, but luckily for us, he's going to stay there and we're not. he's not going to die, which is nice because we need to swallow him whole. So, more water and then head to the end. He's going to get his picture taken, which is probably going to look quite disturbing as he realises his impending doom. <laughs> And that makes us a little bit bigger. Now we need to basically swallow this um, gumball balloon machine right here. Now our hole is just about big enough, but it's kind of awkward and a little bit tricky um, to sort of get him down. So it's more of a case of sort of jiggling around, using the physics of the hole and everything. Um, but you can't. We we need to swallow it to sort of move on to the next section. So it can be a bit tricky. There we go, though. So we do get there in the end, but it can be a little bit tricky. So again, swallow the raccoons, swallow the fences, swallow everything that we need to. 
and you can there is a way you can swallow this tent now or this ticket booth or whatever but it needs to be literally absolutely bang on um so i tried doing it i think for about four or five minutes and ended up giving up with it and as you'll be able to see in just a couple of seconds it even goes all the way down to the other end and Lo and behold, it didn't work. So we will, and we can come back to that a little bit later on. So for now, get some water, and then shoot it up actually at the Ferris wheel. And this, <laughs> I love this bit of awesome music, by the way. It's <laughs> oh, it makes you feel like you're at the circus. Do it again, do it for a third time, and that will, one, destroy the castle, and two, get us another achievement. That should be a circus music guy. And then the hole should be big enough, and now we can swallow absolutely everything and end the level once more. Okay, broski broskies, we are in a bit of a traffic jam right now, which for me gets my road rage. I mean, I don't have any road rage, but it really does get my road rage up. So, what we need to do then, um, get all the small bits before we get the mouse in the car. Now, there was a coffee cup on top of his car, so as you see me do, just um, go underneath the car and it should knock the co coffee, cup, coffee cup off. In, there, uh, in order for you to swallow it. So there we go. So for this next bit then, again, just man make sure to get all of these smaller items first, which will be all the little things on the bench. So it's probably the best bet to start going for. And the little tires. And then when you get a big hole, now we can start sucking off the raccoons. Oh, did I say sucking off or sucking in? I meant in, obviously. <laughs> uh, get rid of all the chairs. And now we should be okay enough to get the tires, sort of what the raccoons were watching the CCTV and things. So we'll grab the tires, and now we can grab all the bits of wood and all the TVs. Man, this is like money make this is like money making gold, is it not? Wish I had a big hole like that I could just put things into. Uh no wait, just ignore that. Ignore that bit at all. So suck up the raccoon that was working on the donut wheel. That will give us all the donuts enough to snow swallow this big bit of bench or beanie right here. Now we can move on to the next section. So have a look at the raccoon with the camera and then you press the A button on it to shoot up a donut and swallow the camera. Now all you have to do then for all three raccoons, just get the camera up. It's going to take a picture of them. They're going to crash, burn and die. And yeah, so just do it with all three then. Sort of do it where, obviously, these sort of circles and lines are on the ground. That should destroy all three. And now, kind of like a white raccoon boss is going to come up. Obviously, after you suck these raccoons inside of you. So make sure to do that first. And then what we're going to do is press A next to the balloon. That's going to attach all three raccoons on it. Now, this guy is, it looks like he could be difficult, but he's really nothing but a piece of poop. So go to where the lines are on the ground, press the A button to interact with it to get the camera and the pictures, make sure to swallow them and just keep mashing the A button. He will crash, we can suck him off. I gotta stop saying suck him off now, I mean suck him up. <laughs> suck him in and then put him onto the balloon and then swallow the balloon. Happy days, now what we gotta do is just stay in the middle of this road. Cars are gonna come flooding in and we are gonna suck them all. We are going to eat every single bit of Dirty, oil-infused, crap-fest cars until the level ends.
So now would you believe this is actually the last level or more or less the last level but it is a bit of a long one so first of all obviously as we've been doing throughout the game so far suck everything in uh, okay obviously the laptop didn't fancy going in yet uh, get your hole a little bigger before you destroy the yum yums and a little cutscene is going to happen right here And then what they're going to do then is drop a little hacking device which is going to come in mega handy. So go underneath the camera with the sort of shadow was on the ground, press the A button and now we're going to enter into the inside. We're going to get the hole on the inside and we're also going to get the hacker achievement which is unmissable. So we don't actually have to stay in any one room. Of course any room that we're in obviously always try and get any items that you can swallow but we're going to go outside which was just a little gap underneath the door and then go all the way up to the main hall again get all these little bits of items that you can i'm sorry the music is distractingly good <laughs> it just makes you want to bop the death so everything on the ground there and then go in through security door on the right hand side and again pick up these items off the floor and we're going to get rid of this raccoon, this sleepy, lazy bastard. Look like me, to be a fair mind. And now what we can do is press A underneath this shelf right here. <laughs> so we can swallow these items as well. So at the minute then, there's nothing else to do. So we can go back into the lab. Basically, what was on that shelf was a red keycard. So go to Lab 1 Biology. Go underneath the slot. And then that should allow us entry with the red keycard. Which is on that shelf, as I said. So this next little bit then, the Trash King kind of reminds me of me, pure trash. <laughs> anyway, again, swallow up all these small items that we can here for the moment. And then we'll be using this snake once again, like you remember we, what we did with the chickens. Yes, it's going to sort of act as a tentacle again. But the first thing that we're going to be doing then is quickly press up, left, down, left, grab. So up, left, down, left, quickly go over to grab. And then what that should do is play a cutscene where a door opens for us. So try again. It's up, left, down, left, quickly go over to grab. Um, obviously, I didn't the first two times for some reason, but I do this time. So it's up, left, down, left, go over to grab. And if you do it quickly enough, this door will open. This is the security area which we were just in but that is handy for an achievement later on so for now just go ahead and finish off this the basically rest of this room but again if you need it it is up left down left grab then you should see that door open and we'll go and get an achievement in there later on but for now go up and grab the two boxes that were on these shelves they're gonna slam down and then it literally is now just a case of our little froggy friend right here. So again, pressing all the buttons, all the necessary buttons that you need to do. And the frog is basically going to be our best friend here.
So it is worth trying to just get these rabbits out first, but what we're going to do is actually eat all the flies and just grab the rest of the items first. That's just going to be a lot easier because it does take a little bit of convincing, shall we say, to get those rabbits down and get the lock open. So this may take you one time, this may take you ten times, um, but, but it really depends. I think, I'm not sure if it's the positioning where you have to get a little bit closer or anything, um, or you have to be actually dead on the center of the lock, but once you get them unlocked, then you need to f swallow all four rabbits. Mate, they're going to have the best orgy they'll ever have in their life, as you can see, and then there is just going to be a complete bunny explosion. Oh my god. Don't panic, mate. Bunny orgies, lots of bunnies. Time to panic, I think. So, hey, you know what we're doing here? Grab all the bunnies that you can. Is it gonna be big bunny orgy? Well, I tell you what, there is a bowl down my hole. So, put your rabbit keys in, and let's get this show on the road. <laughs> but just grab all the rabbits first. Why do I know so much about swingers parties? I've never been to one, honest. So, with all them dirty rabbits um, collected, go through to the main hall. Grab this rabbit guy here, and then go through to security. Now, before we grab these, go into the room that is now open, which was locked before. It's the one that we opened, and that gives us the bandit achievement. Remember, this is the door we opened in the laboratory room by pressing the buttons in a particular order, left, up, down, left. So, you don't actually have to collect all the gold here, but, bruh, it's a game. It's a, it's a room full of gold, so why the hell wouldn't you? Um, but you can make the hole a little bigger, but again, you don't have to. Now we can grab extra bunnies and go for extra orginess and then go through back to the labs. And now we can go to lab two, the anthropology lab. Now that we have the blue key card out of that. So nothing special about this little area. Again, it's just collect. All the small things first, get bigger, collect bigger things, let's move on to next area. I'm pretty sure you got that by now, aren't you? So collect everything except for the um, fire in the bin. We're going to collect that last, and we have to be quite quick with it. So grab the desk now, then grab the bin with the fire in it, and then when we go to the next area, immediately go to the right, because there's a firework we need to swallow. So immediately go to the right, swallow the firework, then immediately go over to the left, and then shoot it up at the TV. That is a missable achievement that we can destroy, so make sure to grab that and then shoot it up at the alarm on the right. So there's a few things that we need to be doing here before we take our little exit. So with the water that we need, basically the way to turn this is just by staying in this one electricity spot and that will start, basically if you need water, there's always gonna be water there. Um, but to start moving the whole thing, you actually need to just stay in that little electricity spot. And as you can see, if you need to get rid of the water, the bird's there to do that, which obviously we need because we need to suck up the rest of these items. <laughs> And now we can actually leave on this bit. So get some water, put it in the little electrical cables until it starts swinging, get the bird to get rid of the water. And then what you need to do is actually go behind the firework on the right hand side. And you see the switch? There's gonna be a switch that we can actually suck down. Now make sure to do that. That's gonna get a fire, light up the firework, suck that up, and then 
throw it up into the empty hole. That should now get us to the next bit. So hopefully that was explained not too fast, but <laughs> hopefully quite well. So we are basically now done with this section. Now we're going to be actually heading to the old boss boy. And when I say boss, um, so there we go. So head up then. Now the door's going to open at the top. So now we can just head through. Now, when you say boss, I didn't know what I was going to be expecting. What it was was quite easy. It's literally just dodging dodging a laser and throwing a bomb at him. But for this part, we're just going to keep on collecting the donuts. Because apparently now we are Hola Simpson. Huh? Homer? Hola? <laughs> Hilary not very hilarious. Keep collecting the donuts anyway, Hola Simpson. So, you ready to do some dodging and stuff? Then don't, actually. Do not dodge anything. Basically, we're going to be getting a missable achievement here. And this is for, basically, dying. So, what we need to do... There you go. So, he's going to target the hole. So, just let let him fill his creamy goodness inside our hole. And then, what he's going to do is drop some bombs. Now, normally what we do is avoid that. Get the smallest bomb and then chuck it up at him. But, what we're going to do is just wait until all the bombs explode and then he's actually that's how he actually hurts us so if we don't hit him with the bomb he's going to turn around with that really creepy ass but weirdly banging noise and he's going to hurt us so literally you can just go away for two minutes go make yourself a brew touch yourself inappropriately do whatever you want for just a couple of minutes until we actually die you literally don't have to do a thing um, and it's going to take six times for us to hit him even though our health goes down halfway after the first turn it gets smaller and smaller so it takes about six times for us to hurt us and kill us off so go away for a minute love you <laughs>
So, there we go then. That is us dying. Basically, we're just going to go through this bit of dialogue cutscene here until we get back to that same cutscene just before the boss. Now, remember, we have an achievement for completing the game, completing killing the boss, and not being hit by the boss. Now, it is easy enough to dodge, basically, uh, as we get into it. So, there we go. So, we're going to get into it now. So, obviously, as you've seen where he was filling our hole with his creamy goodness, obviously, we desperately need to avoid that. So, it is it is easy, just sort of, obviously, just dodging around for now. So, there we go. So, he's going to keep doing that. He's going to try and shoot at us, and we are just going to avoid it. There we go, so just keep spinning through. Now he's going to drop the bombs. Now, make sure to grab the smallest bomb. And it can be a bit tricky as it sort of starts floating around, but as soon as you grab that bomb, go to underneath where he is and where the shadow is, and then shoot it up. Sorry, I've done that quite quickly then, but that's how you do it. Now he's going to start laying these bricks down like a little path. So obviously now you've just got to sort of dodge him while trying to avoid these bricks as well. Um, it can be potentially, I think, random, these path bricks but once you avoid it again he's going to do the same so ignore the big bombs make sure to just go for the very small bombs try and get it in your hole and then look for the shadow on the ground and then shoot it up so we need to be doing this a third time so again this next one's going to be even uh, i say even trickier it's a little bit trickier but try and get a feel quickly down for where the sort of path is and where you go in again it can be randomized for you so just be a little bit careful that is that then so all we need to do now is quickly once again grab the small bomb look for the shadow where the quadcopter is and then slam it press the a button slam it this should be him dead now but he will come back but i'm pretty sure you can't actually fail the next bit i am pretty sure <laughs> So, Trash Balls is back again, but what we're going to do, immediately as we, immediately as we start, BK is right up by the door, swallow him up, and then just attach the um, hacking device to the quadcopter. And now, what's going to happen is, he's all we need to do now is literally just grab all the bombs and then just stick, uh, just basically kill him with it. Um, as long as you do that quick enough and hack him, you cannot fail this bit because he's hacked. He's not going to attack us. The bombs are not going to go off. So just grab all the bombs, kill him off, and then that should be the King Quad Copter done. But obviously that is making sure that you've got BK who is at the door, ma making sure you got him quick. Hacking, them, uh, hacking the Quad Copter as quick as he can, and it should be job done. So now we got the Flawless Achievement. And that is for completing the boss without fighting, uh, it taking any damage. Of course, if you do take damage, uh, just reset it and you'll just have to do the three parts and this part again. But when we're doing that, make sure to go directly to the statue before you head to the big building. Make sure to destroy the statue first with the tornado because that'll get us another missable achievement. So make sure to destroy the statue before the big old mansion boy right here. And then you can just do that. Tornado the crap out of it, bruh. So this is just basically going to be one long cutscene where everyone's going to go back up to the above land. Um, but it's going to take a while, so just keep smashing through the dialogue at this point, and then we'll have a few more mis miscellaneous, missable achievements to get. But smashity smash smash your way up.
So here we are then, this is the end of the game, but we do have a couple of things to do. We're basically going to be the drone now, so uh, move forward with the left stick and then move up and down with the right stick. And what we need to do is go straight through the Donut County Donut Hole, where Crocodile Steve is. I guess that's his name, Steve. Um, but we need to go through the hole. So, ooh, nice. So we got kicked in the balls on the way through. But that's going to get us the one achievement, then turn directly around, have a look at the anchor... As you can see right there, it's pretty obvious where it is in the sky. And then just keep floating all the way up. Literally all the way up. It's, <laughs> it's going to take about 20 to 30 seconds, actually. So, so how are you doing? How's your day? How's your love life? Dish out all the goth. Oh, wait, I can't hear you. Sorry. So, so enjoy the game? Yeah, game good. Good. I right, hope you enjoyed the guide as well. I enjoyed myself, too. Oh, sorry, phone vibrated. My bad. Ah, here we go. So eventually, when we get to the top, you will see um, the raccoons on a ship. So if the achievement should unlock. Sort of get yourself on the ship, or very, very close to it, and that should unlock the escape achievement for finding Trash King's secret vehicle. So now we can exit pressing the X button. Press yes, and then the credits are going to start. Uh, I've left them in the earth. They're only about 20 to 30 seconds long. And the music's nice and chill after a nice stress-free 1,000 we're just about to grab. Now that we're at the end, basically what it's going to ask us is, do we want to look through the Trashopedia? Congratulations, you've unlocked the Trashopedia items, open Trashopedia. Now we're going to click yes this time. So we're actually going to have a look through and basically, as long as you followed the guide and collected every single item in every single level, which if you went from small to big and collected absolutely everything before you finished it off, then you should be good. So now, just click the arrow button, not the double one on the right hand side, but the one on um, the one just to the left of it, and just literally. That, that was me trying to mash the A button there. I don't know, I didn't know that was a noise, but keep mashing the A button until you get all the way through, and that should unlock us another achievement for looking and grabbing every single item in the game. Obviously, if it doesn't and it doesn't unlock, you can actually see which item you haven't got, go to that particular level and actually pick up that item and then just look at it again and that'll unlock the achievement. But obviously, if you did follow this guide, you should be able to get it. Nerd! But that should be fine. So now we should have one achievement left and we're going to go to the levels and we're going to go back to the gecko level. Wow, the, the, honestly, the music in this game is bumping. Me, me, me. So yeah, here we are. Gecko Park it is. Now, this achievement is basically, like I said, for not collecting the radio next to the house. You can just see it there to the left of Sleepy Crocodile Man. But this is for not collecting the radio. So, but sadly, we do need to play through the first bit, which is uh, collecting all the geckos, and then come to the second area a little bit later on. So... Play it, play the level as normal for now.
once we are in this second area, what we are actually going to do is collect absolutely everything first and then leave the radio, which is on the basket, till last. Um, because basically we're going to need a sort of bigger hole to help us out a little bit here. Uh, so what we're going to do, obviously, you can sort of inch towards it and then pull the box out from underneath it. Or you can sort of fly underneath it quite quickly like I did earlier with the mouse and the coffee cup on the car. Um, but just grab absolutely everything now before you grab the radio. So obviously make sure not to grab the radio. Radio, don't grab it. So here we go then, make sure to grab these, grab the big building, and then what I do is just ever so carefully just inch towards the box and, to, and sort of just inch towards and then flick it away, um, as long as I can get this building down my neck, down my neck, down my neck, come on douchebag, right there we go, so be very very gentle here, sort of inch towards it and just sort of, oh. Try just move the box enough so that the radio falls, grab the box, that'll end the level, and that should be all achievements complete. So, just want to say thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope this guide has been helpful, and I hope you've enjoyed the game, obviously, and the guide as well. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on all my socials as well. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, also Patreon as well, so all the links are provided in the description box below the video. Massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters, including Tim G84. Very much appreciate everyone who's on there at the minute. Thank you very, very much. And again, thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.